right, class, what does a team leader look like? Someone who leads the group in discussion. What else would they do? Um, they would make sure that everyone's participating. Anything else? What about read question? Does that sound good for a team leader? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about a recorder? What do they do? Usually take down the notes. Perfect. Anything else for a recorder? And an artist, what do they do? Um, they draw what is being talked about. Anything else for artists? That's good. And last but not least, what does a presenter do? They the, present. Yeah. <laughs> the information that was given in the problem. Good. A little bit cooler. We can see the cooler weather working in towards Hillsdale at 46. 53 for Lemoyne, 54 for Finley, but take a look over our eastern counties. Waking up this morning still in Fremont, it's 57. Huron, it's 58, 58 for Upper Sandusky. So still feeling great outside right now. How about this weekend coming up here? The Toledo Zoo is going to have a free admission weekend for Lucas County residents, Saturday, 40 degrees. And, of course, don't forget they're going to be having all that fun out there, the ice carvings, and, of course, some indoor activities as well. Sunday, 38 degrees. Monday extends because of the holiday weekend to 36 degrees. So as uh, these ice carvings are be going on at the Toledo Zoo, they'll stick around a little bit longer with the cooler weather expected into the upcoming weekend. So let's talk about your weekend forecast. Here comes the cold. Um, so today, you guys are given um, a problem to work out about temperature. Uh, so for example, in Browning, Montana, the temperature changed from 44 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 56 in 24 hours. Uh, this actually happened, so this is all real life examples that I pulled from the internet. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do is figure out what the temperature change was. Uh, what kind of tools do you think you can use to figure out temperature change? A thermometer. Good. What else? Calculator. We're not going to use those today. <laughs> How about a number line? Ooh. Ooh. Can anyone think of anything else? Mm -hmm. All right, so um, after we figure out the temperature change, we're then going to have the artist draw two different thermometers to show visually each temperature. All right, number one, in Browning, Montana, the temperature changed from 44 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 56 degrees Fahrenheit in 24 hours. What was the temperature change that day? So, to figure that out, we would go from 44 degrees to zero and add that to zero to 50, negative 56 and add those two numbers together and that would be your temperature change. Okay, so it's kind of like doing... 44, so like 44 minus 0, and then 0 minus negative 56. Yeah. Okay. Alright. I'm doing B. Okay, perfect. Because I'm the artist. <laughs> so you get the drawing. So, yeah. So, 
So do you get a hundred for A? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Alright, so then the first one is all these are negative. Forty-four. So that'd be between forty and sixty. So forty-four. And how did I go negative? Negative fifty-six. I think I think it's perfect just being negative fifty-six. Mm -hmm. And so this is illustrating, like, the thermometer is just illustrating how far the temperature is from zero. Right. Just like we do with our... Then it shows how big of a gap is, which is why it's a 100 degree gap. Right. Yeah, because, like, if you added this and this, you would get... Yeah. Perfect. Oh, and C is create a minute skit to broadcast the temperature change as a weatherman or woman. To show how we found our answer, we're going to make a giant thermometer, and then we're going to make it around zero here. And then we're going to go by 20, so we're going to go 20, 40, 60. And then we're going to go 20, 40, 60 in the negative direction. So at the beginning of the day, it started at 44 degrees, so it was about up here. But towards the end of the day, it went all the way down to 56, negative 56. So it was this giant gap of temperature change. And how we found it was we took 40 minus negative 56, find the difference, and found that it was a 100 degree difference between the beginning of the day to the end of the day. 44. 44. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm going to review how to play the dot game. So person one is going to be black, and person two is going to be blue. So you first start with one person connecting whatever two dots they want and you draw a line. Then it's person two's turn and they're going to do the same exact thing wherever they want. The goal of this game is to make a full box. What I mean by that, so I'm going to go back to person one, they're probably going to draw it here. Person two might make the mistake and draw a line here, which means that person one can form an entire box. If they're the ones that form the box, they put their initials in there. Now, the, how to win this game is you want to make more boxes than the other person. So person one would have one box. Let's do tally marks. And it would continue on until the entire board was full. And whoever has more boxes within the game is going to actually win the game. Okay, so all of you have your math books out, and we're going to go to this website. This website is going to have a dot game, but we're going to use a little math with our dot game. Now, it's going to be played the same rules that I just explained to you, but there's going to be something different about this. Now, within your groups, you're going to investigate what's different about it and how it is scored. I am going to collect an explanation of how your dot game's math version is scored. So, tell me your strategy to play this game and how you win. Well, I look to make two lines or I guess connect the two dots together and I try not to make a third line on a box because I know if I make a third line then he's gonna connect it and he's gonna get a box so I look to make a line anywhere where there's not already two lines forming a box okay so <clears throat> tell me how you would win a game like this well I would win by getting the most boxes with the most points 
tell me more about the numbers within the boxes. Why are there some with a negative sign? Why are there some with a positive sign? And how does that affect your score? Well, the points, and that's how many points you get for each box. So if I were to make a box around the six, I would get six points. But if I make a box around the negative one, then I would get negative one points. So I don't want the negative, I only want the positive. What does the negative score, the negative box do to your score? Well, the negative one makes it lower because I have to take away from my points, but I don't want to do that. I want to make it bigger. Good. And then if you already have a negative score, what happens if you get another negative score? What does that do? I just keep getting more negative. So, like, my negative just, like, I keep getting bigger, but I have a negative. So I just keep, I keep going farther and farther away, so I get less and less points. Farther and farther away from where? farther away from from the zero so uh, I need more positive points perfect all right well make sure you guys write that down